Hey what's up everyone it is Thais here so today I will be doing my first attempt at feed in braids so I just want to thank you all for tuning into this video and don't forget to subscribe for weekly hair videos from me so for this hairstyle I will be using the brand Fashion Idol and they did send this to me to review so this is their braiding hair and in the package comes a crochet needle and it also comes with some hair clip accessories so this hair is supposed to be really soft. It's very soft to touch, obviously. And it's kinky straight, so it has a much more natural texture. As you can see, it's a dull finish versus a really bright, shiny finish. So it mimics natural hair much more better than the average braiden hair. So if you all are interested, make sure you check out my link below so you can buy one and get one free on this hair. So before I start my feed and braids, the first thing I do is feather out the ends. So this allows the ends to fall more naturally when you braid it and it doesn't come out as blunt. And this hair is 30 inches long, bended, folded in half. So I decided to go for the full length the first time. So I'm going for 30 inches and it falls like right at butt level. So right here, I'm just separating the hair. This is what you do first to feed in the hair. You want to make sure that the hair is separated before you begin to braid so it helps you to be much more organized so you're not reaching for hair and messing it up and then I just part my hair how I like it and today I'm going for only four braids for my first attempt I just want to keep it really simple just to get the hang of it and this part was a pain guys like to be honest this part took about 10 minutes to do it. I was just back and forth in the mirror trying to get it as straight as possible. So this was the best I can do. I just couldn't go on anymore. So the most important part of your feed and braids is to use some edge control around the perimeter of the part. So this will allow your braid to lay much more neater. It gives it a better appearance when you put the edge control on it. And you do not have to braid your hair as tight because it just look really laid with the edge control. So right here I'm using the Even 24 hour edge control. I just wanna thank Miss Pink for recommending this edge control to me, it is amazing. And this hairstyle is for those who already know how to braid. This is an advanced hairstyle for the advanced braider. So you already have to know how to braid before you can do it. So what I do is start to braid my hair in the beginning. And I do about like three to four like laps or braids and then I just take that hair and put it under the finger that was supposed to pick up the hair so instead of just picking up my hair I just put half of that hair in and pick it up if that makes sense and then I continue my braid and then bring the other piece around when I go to pick up the right side again And I just keep repeating that until I run out of hair, until I get to the very end. So as you can see again, put the hair under with that finger that's poking out and pick it up. And then you bring it over and make sure you're detangling the hair as you go. And then you continue to braid normally and then you pick up that hair again. So if that makes sense, it's very simple. It's not as complicated as it looks if you already know how to braid. If you don't know how to braid, I do have a tutorial down below teaching you how to braid.
And while doing your feed and braids, make sure you are applying a little bit of tension just so that your braids can last longer and continue to feed in the hair straight to the bottom. So right here, I ran out of hair that was separated and I didn't want to risk that hair like unraveling and having to do it all over again, but I just kept on braiding with the hair I had already feed in and I just braided all the way to the very tips. And this hairstyle is so amazing. I feel like this will be a staple part of my healthy hair care regimen. It's so easy to do and it's so beautiful. So this will be my third braid and at this point I realized that I needed to part my hair better. I needed a better parting pattern. So definitely next time I will work on my parting pattern because it looks like kind of off right here. But it's wearable and I actually liked it that way. I don't know. It gave it a nice offbeat style. Plus this was more of a practice run for me being that this is my first time. So next time I will definitely feel more confident and know what to do with my feet and braids. So this will be the final braid I complete on camera since my camera died after an hour and a half of filming this video. So I will be wrapping it up here and yeah, I just basically continue to feed in the hair. And please note that my hair is clean and it is well deep conditioned, well moisturized and seal and my scalp is oil. So you want to make sure you nourish your hair as best as you can before you put in any type of protective style so that you can get the maximum benefit from that protective style. So after my braids are completed, I just take my Cream of Nature Foam Wrap Lotion and just put it over the braids just to give it a nice hole and a nice shine. And it just makes the braids look a lot more better. Like I noticed the big difference when I put it over it. And when I went to take my hair down the next morning, my hair just looked really crisp and it just looked like really professional. And right here, I'm just tying down my hair so that it can dry overnight. And this is the very next morning. So the night before, I did dip the ends in uh, some hot water, the very ends. But of course, I went ahead and made a mistake of cutting it. So I'm just putting the final touches to my edges just a little bit since I don't really have like a lot of short pieces of edges, whatever you call it. You call it baby hair. But yeah, I'm just creating some like curvature there, trying to get a nice look. And there you have it guys. So this is the very end result of my feed and braids. It came out really, really amazing. I love the quality of work I did for my first try. And I also love the quality of the Fashion Idol braiding hair. It was very soft. It didn't tangle easily. So this braiding hair is very beginner friendly if you aren't used to using extensions. And I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a rating. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.